Hello, AAC Universe, and welcome to History Of. I'm your host and resident superhero nerd, Aaron Waller, and this is the series where we do a deep dive of various comic book characters, both heroes and villains, and we give a little bit of insight as to who they are and why they do what they do. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about a very interesting and kind of bizarre Marvel character that's going to be getting his very own series starting next year in 2022, and that's Moon Knight. But before we get into Moon Knight, I want to recommend checking out AnimatedApparelCompany.com for all your awesome nerdy merch from Marvel, DC, video games, Star Wars, anime, and so much more. And you can even use my special promo code Aaron20 to get 20% off your order, add some more stuff to your cart, and save some more money. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into some Moon Knight. Moon Knight was created by Doug Minoche, Don Perlin, and Al Milgram, and debuted in Werewolf by Night number 32 in 1975. And just like the debut episode of History of with Black Widow, Moon Knight was originally a villain, but by the following issue, Werewolf by Night number 33, he was already changing sides. And people loved him so much he would have tons of appearances in Marvel's Spotlight, Spectacular Spider-Man, The Defenders, and so much more. But Moon Knight wouldn't get his own series and origin story until 1980, five years after his debut. Now let's get into Moon Knight's comic evolution and wild backstory. Moon Knight's identity is that of Mark Spector, a son of a rabbi who escaped Nazi persecution and moved to Chicago. It's here where he would experience further persecution that Mark never understood his father's stance to not fight back when facing such abuse. And it's during his CIA days that he would befriend Frenchie Deschamps and the two would become not only good friends but mercenaries. And while in Egypt the two met Raoul Bushman for a raid on an archaeological dig site. After an altercation and Spectre attempting to save the lead archaeologist's daughter Marlene, Bushman loses control and kills most of the workers and wounds Spectre. After being left to die in the desert, he's found by local Egyptians and is laid beneath the idol of Khonshu, where his spirit would encounter the moon god and in exchange for his service allow Spectre to live. After he agrees, he awakens, covers himself with Khonshu's statue's cloak, and confronts Bushman. And as any good superhero with the backing of an Egyptian god, he uses his accumulated wealth from being a mercenary and invests it into his hero venture and moves to New York City, also known as the Marvel Comics Rite of Passage. And it's here that Mark would create the personas of Stephen Grant, a millionaire financer that allowed him to to mingle with the elites, and Jake Lockley, a New York City cab driver. These two personas would allow him to not only get intel on the lower level criminals, but also the high rollers at the top as well. And while juggling four separate personas, Spectre had a nervous breakdown and would be deemed to have multiple personality disorder. Then as Moon Knight, he would begin working with a group called The Committee, a secret organization of businessmen and financiers who would decide ways to stimulate or shock the economy into investing back into their own businesses. It's here that Moon Knight would receive his first mission to capture Jack Russell, aka the werewolf, where Moon Knight would have his first appearance. Later in his history, the committee would hire Bushman to kill Moon Knight. He only marginally succeeds by severely injuring Mark and breaking his legs, thus crippling him. In a fit of rage, Moon Knight would then seek his revenge and use his crescent darts to carve off Bushman's face. After this, unfortunately, Mark would not be able to be a vigilante for some time and fall into a dark depression, take painkillers, and lose a large amount of his fortune. Thankfully, one of his companies is able to bounce back and return Mark's financial status and inspire him to go into physical therapy to return to his vigilante lifestyle. It would later be revealed that Khan Shu was behind this and influenced the committee to finance Mark's businesses, thus getting him back into the Moon Knight suit and serving the promise he made back in Egypt. And of course, Moon Knight would make several other comic book appearances in the big story arcs including Infinity War, Secret Avengers, and Avengers vs. X-Men. Now Moon Knight only occupies two personas, the Moon Knight we all know, and the other is Mr. Knight, a consultant for the NYPD who's dressed in an all-white business suit. Moon Knight's own standalone series for Disney Plus is currently in production with Oscar Isaac taking the lead role and is due to release in 2022. And of the recording of this video, there has been a leaked image of the supposed Moon Knight suit. Now, I do want to know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. I think it looks okay. It could be a little bit better. They're definitely leaning into the Egyptian god side of Moon Knight, which I definitely think is a good idea, but I'm still kind of on the fence about it. Or if you're watching this in the future, let me know, are you liking the Moon Knight series? How are you feeling about it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, despite Moon Knight's story being absolutely wild, he couldn't do it alone. He does need the help of some powers and abilities, as well as some extra gadgets of his own invention. Moon Knight's abilities can vary wildly, but some of his more supernatural abilities include increased strength, endurance, and reflexes, but this is all dependent on the phase of the moon. The more full the moon, the stronger Moon Knight is. But he also has a lot of other, less magical abilities, including being very strategic and tactical, he's an expert pilot, and he has various technology at his disposal thanks to his businesses. And don't forget he's also a former mercenary, so he is no stranger to not only hand-to-hand -hand combat, but he's very much an expert in various weaponry. And speaking of weaponry, Moon Knight has various weapons of his own design, such as his crescent darts, basically batterings, a truncheon, basically a grappling hook, his glider cloak, basically a bat cape, and he also has his own specialized vehicle called the Mooncopter. 
So basically, Moon Knight is Marvel's Batman, and there are a lot of parallels between the two characters, although not exactly the same, but he also uses spiked brass knuckles and other weaponry like katanas. So he's kind of like the brutal military trained Batman that wears white instead of black. So those are some of the things you need to know about Moon Knight. Did you learn anything new about the character you may not have otherwise known? He's made tons of appearances in comics, video games, and a couple TV shows, but his live action appearance is very exciting and I can't wait to find out more. Also in the comments, let me know of any other characters you may want to see on this series. I need suggestions of who you want to see upcoming next. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos from me or the rest of the AAC team, as we have new content daily, both live streams, videos, all sorts of fun stuff, so make sure you subscribe and ring that bell notification. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next video. 